What's up guys, today I'm going to show you, uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this or not, it had some flickering up there when it says it starts recording. I'm going to show you guys how to enable a frames per second display in most origin games. Uh, I especially know for sure this works with Battlefield uh, 4, Battlefield 1, Battlefield Hardline, and Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, and I also know it works in uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. And uh, there's actually a lot more uh, command line options that you can use here. <clears throat> right now I have up the uh, Reva Tuner Statistics server using the on-screen display through uh, MSI Afterburner. Problem is, Crossfire doesn't like this in a lot of games and uh, definitely not in any of the DICE Battlefield Battlefront games. Uh, you take a huge performance hit when this is enabled. So I'm going to turn that off and what I'm going to do is hit tilled on the keyboard. Uh, your tilled key is the little squiggly line uh, just to the left of your one on your keyboard underneath your escape. So you hit that and it will pop up this console here for you. This is a command console. And what you need to type in is P-E-R-F, which is perf, overlay, and then put a period, put enable, and put one, space one, and then hit enter, and now hit tilled again. Okay, now that means it's enabled. Uh, you need to put this in, hit tilled again to open it up. Now you want to do perf overlay dot, which would be period, sorry, draw FPS and put a one and hit enter and now you have a frames per second counter up at the top right. Um, let's say you're running a higher resolution uh, for right now I'm at 1080 if you're because I wanted to show you guys this console when you're in 1440 or 4k uh, it gets real hard to see what you're typing uh, up here in this console but you, what you can do is uh, on origin you can go to your command line arguments and you can uh, put these in and uh, then it will save it and every time you start the game you can have your frames per second counter up there if you want. If you want that to be a permanent thing that's up to you guys. Okay so uh, what we're going to do here is perf overlay dot uh, let me see here. FPS, maybe you can't do it in this one. Draw FPS. No, I don't think you can do it in this one. Some of them have a scale, other ones don't. FPS scale. No, it doesn't look like it's in this one. You have a time period and enable. Draw method. Uh, that's about it. But there's all kinds of stuff you can put in. Uh, some of the other games have a scale, and you can set that scale to like, you just put a uh, draw FPS scale, and you can set it to like 5 if you're on 4K. That way the numbers are big enough for you to see, because as soon as you change it up, they're going to be really small up there in the top right hand corner. Uh, which is fine, you know, if you're just using it for personal use, if you're recording videos, and uh, that could be a problem. So, uh, I believe you can type list here, and this will give you a list of everything that you can put in on the command lines, which is pretty neat, and there's a lot of stuff you can do here. Unfortunately, once you hit list, it kind of just uh, gets in the way and stays there. So, don't recommend doing that. But uh, we could do perf overlay dot draw. Uh, graph 1, enter, and hit tilde. And now we got a graph down there showing us our CPU and GPU usage, which is pretty awesome. Uh, definitely good things to do, you know, when you're uh, showing performance on your games. Uh, but that's about it, guys. If you just want that simple frames per second counter, that's all you got to do. 
Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos for tips and tricks and uh, how to get your crossfire set up running right. Alright, thanks guys.